Um, hi, my name is Betsy. The claim that I'm responding to today is that online classes harm students' education. education. My opponent's secondary claims were that, one, students receive low scores at the end of the semester, two, dishonesty occurs, and three, online classes limit interaction with people. Um, their first secondary claim was that students receive low scores at the end of the semester. Um, as for my counterclaim, online classes were actually more effective. According to a study by the United States Department of Education, online learning has been modestly more effective than traditional classes. Um, this was a study that was taken between, or that was, um, that compared studies between 1991 through 2009. A subpoint that was expressed was that there is a delay in feedback um, from teachers and student or and our students. Um, I have a problem with this study that was presented as an evidence as evidence um, by Krauss, Stark, and Madlin on the effects of cooperative learning and feedback on e-learning and statistics um, because it was inadequate to the claim that online classes have delayed feedback. Um, the study was focused on the effects of feedback on learning and or online classes and from what I read I found no mention on the lack of feedback with online classes. I mean on, I found no um, mention of the delay on feedback with online classes. And on the contrary, many online classes like the Illinois Louisiana Online Network um, which works with community colleges of Illinois and University of Illinois provide multiple effective feedback strategies to help students' needs, like office hours, um, emails, etc. When I, when I took an online class here, um, my professor provided multiple forms of communication between the students and with themselves, like discussion boards and weekly updates. Um, their, second claim, their second secondary claim was that dishonesty occurs. The study by Watson and Scottell on do students cheat more, more in online classes that they provided as evidence um, stated that students in online classes were more likely to obtain answers from others during online tests and quizzes. Um, while this study also showed that students in live courses were more likely to copy other students' works and overall conclusion, oh, sorry. The overall conclusion of the study was that the results showed higher rates in academic dishonesty in live courses. So the evidence only showed that students in online classes and live showed that students in online classes and live classes were just as likely to commit academic dishonesty, and that online classes were specific and that online classes weren't specifically responsible to harm to be a harm of students' education. Um, they also, my opponent also expressed that as a long-term effect, students will be dishonest and unethical in their future jobs. Um, this is a hasty generalization because not all students are dishonest in online courses and it's difficult to tell whether dishonesty will affect their job later. Um, the third secondary point was that online classes limit interaction. They stated that tactile learning courses require interaction and discuss discussion with peers, but the evidence was problematic because the article only compared cooperative learning versus traditional classes, which wasn't relevant. Also, Stablin's report um, study, which was used in the article, focused on five types of cooperative learning and the effectiveness that they have on subjects, which was irrelevant to show how limiting interaction would affect students' education. And, on, and also, the report is too old to be sufficient since it's all over 20 years old and would it include research from the new age. So overall, um, the evidence that, claimed, um, that they gave was inadequate to the points that they were trying to make. And um, that's it. Thank you.
All right. Well, you advocate the uh, advocates' claims very clearly and all the secondary claims. Signposting is not an issue. You've got a clear counterclaim on the first point. Uh, you know, you, the evidence basically, it sounds like it comes from the same source that the advocate used, and it reaches a different conclusion than the advocate was presenting there. Uh, it doesn't sound like there's a strong case for either side having a, a being more effective. And I don't know exactly what standard was being used to determine whether or not those online classes were effective. I think you could have explained that a little bit more. Um, when you basically you challenge the second study there uh, in its application, uh, I thought that you kind of gave a pretty good explanation about what the problem with that uh, study was, but I thought your better arguments on that point were the counterexamples of places where they do have the online um, classes and they do have frequent communication, you get regular feedback, and then you talk about your personal experience. I thought those were pretty effective. Uh, maybe a little bit more explanation of what the advocate's evidence said. Uh, the second point, again, you did uh, a very clear signpost on this. Your challenge here is basically a reasoning challenge that they're making kind of a sweeping generalization. Plus, you have the same argument that you have on the first point, and that is that the evidence that the advocate cites themselves uh, doesn't really suggest that this is the claim that it's that almost like the advocate has taken the information out of context. Uh, the last point, um, I didn't understand your challenge to the evidence that you're presenting there. You say it's not relevant, uh, and you kind of repeat that claim, but you don't explain why. Uh, the clearer argument was that this data was old, and I could see you know, 20 years ago the world has changed dramatically with the kinds of classes that we're talking about, so it probably doesn't apply on that. That, I think, is a stronger argument on that. I do think that you sort of end with a uh, sort of a weak exit I instead of having the strong exit and just summarizing the points that you were making you sort of trail off at the end, and you need to be a little bit more forceful in your presentation. All right, thank you.